throughout most of the history of planet Earth. The area which now composes the Northeast United States was underwater, and the marine reefs which can be found along the Northeast United States through the Devonian period are a testament to this. Uh, towards the beginning of the Paleozoic era, the southern continents were fused and there was a huge supercontinent known as Gondwana. This giant supercontinent was composed of Africa, South America, India, Madagascar, Australia, Antarctica, and part of the Southeast United States and Latin America. As the middle of the Paleozoic approached, the northern continents were fusing, and the southern continents were moving towards them, and the ocean which separated them narrowed. As the southern continents, namely Africa, began to fuse with North America, uh, the resulting continental collision resulted in the formation of the Appalachian Mountains, beginning in Canada and then ending uh, tens of millions of years later in the southern Appalachian chain. Just prior to the beginning of the Paleozoic era, the first animals evolved. Sponges, cnidarians, worms, and very simple animals. There was a great diversity of arthropod relatives. Many were transitional forms, which possessed some features of arthropods, but not enough to be classified as arthropods. Some of these, like the anomalocarids, were the first super predators of the ocean, reaching more than a meter in length. One group of primitive arthropods, the trilobites, was extremely successful at the beginning of the Paleozoic era. Uh, many of the diverse groups of trilobites died in the mass extinction in the mid-Ordovician period, uh, but the group continued uh, towards the middle of the Paleozoic, where many more died in the mass extinctions at the end of the Devonian. Mollusks were not yet the dominant form of shellfish with the types we find today, such as clams, oysters, mussels, etc. Instead, another group of organisms known as brachiopods formed the dominant group of shellfish. There were, however, mollusks which were the dominant predators of the Ordovician, uh, armored squid-like organisms known as cephalopods. In the early Cambrian, there existed a number of chordates, invertebrates which had some features of fish. The first fish are also known from the Cambrian period. They were an inch or two long. They were very simple, with no jaws, no bone, and no paired fins. So they were very similar to the invertebrate chordates. No modern types of fish are known from the early Cambrian. 